Hello everyone and welcome to another Cubase Secrets episode. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can completely rearrange the structure of any song using pretty much one click. Let me show you. Imagine this, you have your song ready to go, but you decide that you want a completely different structure. Let's say you have a chorus, and you want this chorus to be repeated a couple more times, or you might want a section from one place in the song, maybe an instrumental to be placed in another section of the song, maybe before the chorus or maybe before the verse. This is a really tedious task if you try to do this in any DAW, not in Cubase. What I'm going to show you today is how you can use the amazing Arranger track in Cubase so that you can do all these operations at the click of a button. And today I chose a piece of music that's not an electronic music track. And I did this on purpose because when you have an electronic piece of music, then everything is in blocks. Everything is in, you know, even numbers, you have uh, 8 bars, 16 bars, it's very easy to cut and separate, move things around. This track that I selected here has orchestral elements, has vocals, it has reverbs, it has tails, it has pianos, and I'm going to show you the techniques that I use when you have a piece of music that's not in blocks. I'm going to play this track so that you can get an idea of how this sounds. on my coat salty lips magnetic shore seven years of passing notes bold and sung and unreasoned so here we have the verse let's jump into our chorus As you can see, we have several sections right here. The structure is very simple right now. So we have our intro, verse, chorus, our instrumental bridge, verse, another chorus, and a coda. So now let's say I want to create a completely different structure. This is where the arranger track comes in. Now I've already created one, but I'm going to show you how you can create a new arranger track. So all you need to do is go to this plus symbol, add track, and you want to go to more tracks. And here you will find an arranger track. Now, as you can see, I have one already, so I cannot create a new one. But if you don't have one, you can just hit add track, and then it's going to be added to your Cubase project. So this is my arranger track and I want to show you how you can start creating your sessions. It's actually very easy. I'm going to delete those and I'm going to start from scratch. So let's say I want to start with my intro. All I need to do is grab my pencil tool or I can just use my cursor and just hold Alt or Option on the Mac and I can start creating sessions like this. So click and drag. Now let's listen. on my coat, salty lips, magnetic shore, seven years of passing notes, bold and sung and unresolved, blissful paradise we made, with an apple made of clay, glassy angels made the scene, china rose under my skin. Down, the sky is my 
So that's what I like to do. I like to play the song and I'm creating the sections as I go. So as you can see now, I've created A, B, C, D, E, and this is great, but it's not very useful. So I'm going to start adding the descriptions. So I'm going to go to A and name this intro. I'm going to go to B, click on it, go here to the name, and I'm going to name this verse 1A. And I want to separate the verse into two parts, so I'm going to go verse 1B. And this is my pre-chorus, pre-chorus instrumental A, and this is my chorus, so I'm going to say chorus A. And as you can see, I can create a structure very easily. Now, if you want to change the color, I know that this might be a question. All you need to do is bring up your palette here and you can start color coding all the different tracks. In my case, I have a shortcut for this. It's Control Alt C for color and I can select and start creating different colors like this. Now, I'm going to undo because I've done all this work previously, so you don't have to see me doing this all over again. And as you can see, I have marked all my sections of my track like this. Now, this is great even if you're not planning to do any rearranging and restructuring of the song because you can have a nice visual guide of what's going on into your arrangement. So if you want to play this instrumental passage here, I can select it, I can hit Alt P or Option P and I can loop it. So I would use the arranger track anyway. Now let's say I want to start rearranging the song. Here's where the arranger editor comes into place. All I need to do is press on this E button right here and the editor comes up. As you can see, we have the events here. So my Lavare, intro, verse one, chorus one, instrumental, verse two, pre-chorus two, chorus two, and coda. Sometimes you might want to have more sections depending on what you're planning to do with your structure, but I think this works in this case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start creating a chain of all these different events. So I'm going to start with the Lavare, and that's this very, first section, then I can have my intro. And let's say that I want to have the intro twice. I can just go here to repeat and have it play two times. As you can see, it shows up right here. Now let's say I'm going to add a verse, chorus one, and maybe my chorus one, I want to have it play twice again. So I'm going to hit two and there we go. Now we have our chorus two. Then I'm going to add the instrumental section, our verse two, pre-chorus two, my chorus two, I want this to play twice. Let's say I want to make an extended version of this. Some labels ask for these kinds of things. And then we have our coda here. And you know what? I'm going to add another section here for my ending. And I'm gonna call this end. Now let's say that after my coda, I want to have the chorus again. So I'm going to add chorus two one time, and then I'm going to add the ending here. So right now, as you can see, I've created a completely different structure, a different arrangement to what I have here. And now I can start playing it so I can listen to how it sounds. In order to do this, all I need to do is activate my arranger mode. I can click on this, or I can click on the channel itself and I can hit play. And now instead of playing this structure, Cubase is going to play this structure and I can select which event is playing at any time. And actually I want to remove the Levare, have the intro once and let's go straight to the verse. In order to show you how the arranger track works when it's activated, I'm going to jump straight into a section that's very different to what we have here in the project window. So this is the coda. So it's gonna go from coda, then it's going to go to chorus two and then it's going to go from chorus two to the end. Let's listen, I'm gonna go here, select my coda, and I'm going to select this section. As you can see, I can jump between sections very easily. And let's play.
that's going to jump to the end. So you can see that it doesn't follow the arrangement as it is right here in my project window, but it follows this arrangement if we have this button on. Now, you might have heard that there was a little bit of a click when we went from coda to chorus. And don't worry about this. This is why I chose this track because it has loads of tails and these kind of small issues might arise when you're working with an electronic music track you will probably not find these things, but I wanted to show you how you can treat those small issues. Now, let's say that you have this arrangement that you've created. You might want to create another one. I can go here to my arranger chain, and as you can see, I can add another chain. I can create a new chain like this, or I can go back to my arranger chain one and duplicate this and start modifying this so you don't have to do everything all over again. But let's say I want to go back to my arranger chain one and I'm going to name this extended version. And maybe I can go to my copy and rename this and call this remix or something like this. Let's go back to my extended version. And here's the most important thing that you need to do if you want to commit to this chain. All you need to do is go and hit flatten chain. Now, there are some settings that you can select here. You can use the current chain. You can check all chains. You can select which chains you want to flatten and you can flatten all chains that you have created. You can keep the arranger track. You can make real event copies. So basically you can create duplicates of the events. You can ask Cubase not to split the events. You can experiment with all this and you can change the way that Cubase creates the new arrangement. In my case, I'm going to keep the arranger track and I'm going to select current chain. You can choose a destination to be the current project or an entirely new project, which I would suggest if you want to keep your original project intact. In this case, I'm going to go for current project and I'm going to flatten the chain. So check this out, one click and check what happens. And there we go. Now we have our brand new arrangement with the exact structure that I defined previously in the arranger track. So let's go to this point that we had this little click. So I'm going to go from coda to chorus two and the end. Let's see. And the reason why we have this cut there is because these vocals don't come in right here at the down bit. They come in a little bit earlier. So all I need to do to fix this is I can just extend them a little bit. And I can do the same thing with pretty much everything else that has a little bit of a click. Let's listen. <laughs> Actually, that's it. If I want to be a little bit more analytical, I can go into each channel, maybe the piano here. It's actually quite good, but I can create a crossfade. So I can select these two events, hit X, and I can create a nice crossfade here so that I can be absolutely sure that there are no clicks right there. Perfect. And then we jump from chorus two to the end. And same thing, the same method I'm gonna use here. I'm going to extend these backing vocals and maybe I want to add a little bit of extension here to my piano and my bass. And I'm going to add crossfades to all my guitars here because I think they need it. So select all of them, hit X. So these are some tricks and methods that you can use in order to fix these little problems that might arise if you have a track that's organic, that has tails, that's not quantized to the grid is super easy to fix it. And the fact that it does all the work for you, rearranging the whole track with one click, sometimes this can be hours of work. But with these techniques that I showed you, you will be absolutely fine no matter what material you have to deal with. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something new and if you did, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let us know what you'd like to see next in the Cubase Secret Series. Until next time, have fun and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.